Hi, my name is Corey Vellen. I'm a co-founder of Fix Me Stick. Early on, virus writers were basically nerdy kind of young people who wanted to prove that they knew more than other people and could break into other systems. In the late 90s, it started to be taken over by organized crime and people trying to actually make a lot of money by taking control of a lot of different computers and using it for, for different, different um, monetization strategies. So for example, early on, there were a lot of pop-ups that were being put up by viruses and they were being paid by advertisers to show pop-ups. Uh, more recently, it's switched into uh, key loggers and programs that are recording keystrokes in order to record banking usernames and passwords as well as credit card information to then go resell that to other people, again, to siphon money off accounts and make money. How regular desktop antivirus programs work is they're monitoring uh, your network connection to see what files are coming into your machine and they try to stop them before they even get onto your machine. Once they've infected a machine, then it's a very different story to remove them. So they're, they're quite effective at prevention. Uh, it's difficult for them to remove them once the machine gets infected. The reason why regular desktop antivirus programs are not good at removing malware is because they're running on top of Windows. Okay, so to put, this, to put this simply, these antivirus programs are running on top of Windows. And meanwhile, Windows has been infected by a virus. And so the virus is essentially controlling Windows. So to give you a simple example, the virus program might say to Windows, hey Windows, tell me all the files in a certain directory so that I can scan them and see if they're infected with viruses. When a virus is installed in the machine, it's able to tell Windows to lie to the antivirus program and not tell it about certain files. So it's very difficult to disinfect a machine from within that Windows operating system, again, because the operating system is infected and can't be trusted. Where Fix Me Stick was born was trying to make this more convenient and more affordable for the end user to do this at home overnight without having to bring their computer anywhere. All you have to do is take the Fix Me Stick, you pop it into your machine, a little window pops, so it's a USB key, pop it into a USB port, a little window comes up, you double click Run Fix Me Stick, and that's it. That little program configures your machine to reboot, and when your machine reboots, it boots from the Fix Me Stick. The Fix Me Stick is a computer on a chip and then it's able to scan your machine from this USB key when Windows isn't running. And that's the key again, because Windows isn't running, any malware on your machine is not running, and so it can't fight back. As long as uh, systems are gonna be open, so for example, I'd say Windows and the Mac are open systems where anybody can write a program, anybody can install a program. Windows is going to continue to have malware problems, and as the Mac gets more and more widespread, the virus writers are gonna go there. They're going where the money is. When more people have Mac, they're gonna go after the Mac.